Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of the Battleground series. Uh, so in the last episode we did the down slam and the uppercut, so... See, it's the uppercut right now. And... The jump, it's the down slam. And yeah, now we want to implement them. And we will start with the down slam. So, in our input script, let's search for down slam. And we can see that we get a state here. And we can use the state to yeah, do some stuff. So what we want to do is since mm -mm -mm. So this one here. Um, you want to get states. So let's do if state is equal to slam, then and then else we paste our original code. And if our state is slam, we can also paste the current code. And Yeah, then we also want to block break. So what we want to do is we want to get the hit player. So hit player, uh, set attributes, and then blocking. And then false. So we don't want the player to block anymore. Oh, actually, we have to do this on this server. So we have like a... um. Remote for blocking. Yeah, we have. Okay. So let's go ahead and write block fire server. And let's see on server. We've got the player option and the other player and this is a um yeah and what we want to do is if other player then other player set attributes and then else player set attributes so yeah that on the server and then let's just go back to our input and fire the other um fire faults and the hit player like this uh then what happens is we fire the hit on the player and we want the player to be like launched a bit up but almost not back and then we wrecked all the player too and then we all, of course need a down slam animation. So let's find one. Let's try to get this working. So let's see in our server storage if we have item saves here. We do. Let's get our untitled. And let's paste this in. Let's make a new brick. I'll just make it my avatar. Now I'm going to go to the animation editor and I'm going to edit the animation and I'm going to, you can't see it, but I'm just going to um, press on the plus and add all body, then press on save. 
and then it's saved it as an automatic animation club you can see it's in here and now we want to paste this into there now when we go back in the animation editor we can click on load and we can load the untitled and as you can see you don't see anything um yeah great animation what the guy did there well then i gotta cook for myself real fast so i want the player to kind of be um stomping down so i'm going to do exactly that the leg should stomp down Okay, so I want the leg to stomp down faster. So I'm gonna move the key thing down. Well, I think I'm gonna just move both away. And then just in the beginning, I'm gonna raise the leg up. So I'm gonna rotate the leg to be kind of normal. Like this, and then it first goes up, and then you stomp down. And then I also want the leg to go further down. And I don't know why the hat is so wobbly. Let me change this. Okay, well, I suck at the animation, but this has to work. Okay, so down slam. And let's set the animation priority to action. And let's save it and publish it to Roblox. I'm going to copy the animation ID. I'm going to paste it into my script. I'm going to do the so it's playing the animation here i want to check if the state is equal to um the uh slam then and else so i want to Put this here, put this here. Now wants to go up here and put the uh, local local down slam anim ID. This I'm gonna be this. And then I'm going to play this animation. So right here so in the play anim it gets the animation prefix okay so i just need the id so then i just play the down slam animation ID. okay let's try it out oh yeah it works so one two three one two three okay we need to position the hitbox uh beneath and make it check for a player there So let's make it so the hitbox is a um, let's put this there, put this there, 
put this there copy put this here and make the y like 10 or 15 since we want to get every player beneath us too so currently that's the normal hitbox and that's the drop down hitbox yeah you can see that this was a down slam but that the uh, enemy character was still pushed back by a lot and we can try this actually so Oh wait, is this still just for the character? Oh yeah, it's just for the... Okay, so we need to also copy this. So we want to copy the whole block. I want to scroll down. And just paste this here. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it then. So let's try it out. Now it also works on dummies. So one, two, three. And you can see you got kind of stunned and pushed up in the air. You can of course do with that what you want. And for the blocking one, you can see. Well, this is currently hard blocking since we cannot set the attribute. So what we want to do is in the input I want to scroll down and in the here we want to do I don't want to do this for the hits uh player and what we want to do is we just want to warn it so warn um block faults and then the hit character hit character name just like this one two three and you can see the block is now false for the dummy or would be false if it was a player same here okay so now uh you can of course customize this but we are going to now add the uppercut which i hope is going to work so when this is the uppercut uh what we want to do is we want to listen for a a space thing okay so what we want to do is we want to in our data we want to add uppercut is false and we'll just scroll all the way down and in here we want to do uh data dot punch dot uppercut is going to be equal to true and uh then we want to do the underscore input for the player and the character then we want to do data dot punch dot uppercut it's going to be equal to false and then what we want to do is we want to scroll down uh, up and where we get the state is if data the punch the uppercut then state is going to be equal to uppercut like this and yeah let's make sure oh yeah we 
pretty misspelled it there. So let's make sure you, we got everything correct. So uppercut. Scroll all the way down. Put this here. Okay. So then. 50 stage uppercuts. Then we want to do um so else if state is gonna be uppercuts. Let's want to expand it. Or actually we don't need to. And then you just want to play your uppercut here. Then what we want to do is in our things here. If the so else if state is going to be equal to uppercuts, then we want to do the thing. Just copy the whole thing, and what we can do is we want to link the player upwards so we can play knockback of 10. And yeah, we don't need to hit the yeah, okay, that works. And then just copy this and paste it here above in this one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you can customize your uppercut and your down slam. And yeah, you can also set custom effects. Just put them there um, or on the server with a remote event. And yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.